What's up, guys? LQ here with the LQ Review, and I'm here to give my quick review on The World According to Jeff Goldblum. It's the Net Netflix. It's the Disney Plus original series starring Jeff Goldblum. It's a um, National Geographic show that where he just kind of goes around and, and just finds mundane things, everyday things in our lives that we know of, and he um, and he just gives a pretty comprehensive history of those things. So we've had two episodes so far. The first episode was about shoes. The second episode was about ice cream. The first episode I did not care for. I thought that it was, I thought it was okay for what it was, but for the most part, I was bored. Um, the presentation was all a bit slow for me. Maybe it was just a subject matter that I'm just not that interested in. I don't know, but I had a hard, I had a hard time connecting with the presentation of it. The second episode was a lot better. It was something that was engaging. It was something that I was really into. Um, ice cream, right? I'm into ice cream, of course. It, it was just a topic that I was really engaged with and the history of it that I was really engaged with. The history was a little more um, interesting to me, um, you know, given the fact that I am a history teacher. A lot of this was able, he was able to connect ice cream back through the ages. And that was something that I really found compelling. Um, talked a little bit about like uh, Ben and Jerry's and how we got um, some of our modern r r ice cream that's just filled with flavor and big chunks and things like that. Um, some history with the Navy, how the Navy has has their ice cream socials. I just found the second episode to be a, a lot. The presentation was a lot better. It was a lot crisper. It was a lot. Um, um, it flowed a lot better. Like I said, that could have just been my interest level in the topic. Um, something like this. Now, it is mundane things. It is things that we just take for granted in our lives. But something like this, I think your interest level in the topic is going to go a long way in whether or not you like it. That being said, even episode one, um, Jeff Goldblum just has this charismatic personality, this quirky personality where he's just able to engage you. So even though I personally wasn't very engaged in the topic matter and the subject matter of the first episode, I still couldn't turn it off. Because Jeff Goldblum has a certain magnetism about him where I'm like, I got to watch it because it's Jeff Goldblum. You know, he's got this certain analy analytical way that he looks at things and a certain analytical analytical way that he talks. Right. This is the way that he talks. I'm like, I've got to I've got to hear what he has to say. You know, it's those pauses. The uh, It's the hand movements that he does. It, you know, there's so much about there's so many Jeff Goldblum isms that he does when he's acting. That he that, That's just who he is. So it's just a. It was a lot of fun to watch him interact in somewhat of a, it's not a reality show. It's a docu-series, but it felt kind of reality-ish the way that he was approaching people on the street, the way that he was talking to real life people, not people in, the, uh, in his Hollywood circles. It was nice to see him interact and to see real Jeff Goldblum, real Jeff Goldblum. I mean, it was, it was fun. The, the whole series so far has been fun. Even the first episode that I didn't care for that much. It still had certain, those engaging elements and it still had the Jeff Goldblumisms that I really liked. So I'm hoping that as the series moves on, we're going to get more of episode two where I'm really engaged and really into it and really having a good time. But I think that a lot of people are going to like the first episode though. So it just wasn't a subject matter that interests me. The history issues, for whatever reason, it just didn't grasp me. But um, if you're one of those people who got to have your new Jordans or whatever, you, this might be a great episode for you. Um, overall, I think this episode, I mean, the, I think this series has a lot of promise. I think it shows a lot of promise and I think there's a lot of places they can go with it. And I'm, I'm hoping that it, ha it has an audience so that um, they can pick it up for a season two, because this is something that I think has a lot of potential. Um, just looking at the world around us and really analyzing why. So, so that's my take on it. It's, it's good. It's good. It hasn't reached great status or anything like that, but it's good. And that's my take on it right now. The important thing is, what do you think of the world according to Jeff Goldblum? Have you been able to see it? Have you been able to watch it? Have you watched the first two episodes? What do you think of them? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. And, um, and, and yeah, it's good. Not great. That's my opinion on it. So thank you for being here at the LQ Review where we get to talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff we love to talk about. And until next time, we'll see you later. Every single day.